Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and in today's video, we are back every single Wednesday with another episode of Destiny Zerg Predictions. So, last week, I got some of the predictions somewhat right, and honestly, it's been too long since I've actually gotten a pretty decent amount of the predictions right. So it's time to shake things up. If I don't get at least one of the predictions right this week, I'm going to be scrapping my longbow synthesis. I just think it's not really fair for me to just keep making these predictions videos and just to be completely wrong every time. I do try to make the predictions as accurate as possible, but Azura is just a freaking greedy bastard and will not give me the gear that I keep predicting. So this time around, if Zur does not bring at least one piece of gear that I predict, I will be scrapping my longbow synthesis in the next week's episode. So definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see that. But anyways, with all that aside, let's get into these predictions. So this time around, we are starting things out on the Titans. Now, last week he sold the no backup plans again, and honestly it was pretty perfect running that Defender Titan last week on that map. Honestly, everything about the no backup plans is pretty great. Now, I don't really run them too often because I'm not really a shotgunner, but if you're a bubble titan, those can definitely be pretty OP. And it's definitely great if you're running shotgun as well, just to get automatic force barrier. Now, this time around, because he definitely just saw, sold the no backup plans twice in what it's only been three weeks, I am can pretty much uh, guaranteeing that we are going to be getting a chest piece this week. Now, he sold gauntlets last week's legs the week before, and then right before that, he sold the no backup plans. I'm not really too sure why he just brought those again, but like I said, Zer is a greedy bastard. So this time around, I think we're definitely going to be getting some sort of a chest piece. Now, for my prediction, I think he's going to be selling the Crest of the Alpha Loopy. That's the chest piece that gives you faster revives, but it's definitely possible that he can sell Twilight Garrison as well. And honestly, in my opinion, I really hope that he does, because I definitely like to watch people try and use that Twilight Garrison. Whenever he first sells it, everyone buys it and then uses it in Trials really poorly. And honestly, Trials is always pretty much really easy that we after Twilight Garrison. So, I'm honestly hoping that he sells that, but for my prediction, I do think he's going to be selling the Crest of the Alpha Loopy. Now next up, we've got the Warlocks. Now last week, I predicted he was going to sell a helmet, and I was right. He sold the Apotheos' Veil. Now unfortunately, like I said, that was not my prediction, and I'm starting to get kind of annoyed that these predictions aren't at least somewhat accurate. So like I said, I will be scrapping that longbow synthesis. This greedy bastard does not bring at least one of these pieces of gear. So this time around, I need to try to be as accurate as possible with these Warlocks. Now, he sold the helmet two times in a row. He sold the Apotheosis Veil last week and the Ram right before that. Now, I am almost can guarantee that he's not going to be selling a helmet because of that. At least, I really hope so because I really do like my Longbow Synthesis. So this time around, I definitely think he's going to be selling Gauntlets. He has not brought Gauntlets in three weeks. He could easily bring another helmet or another chest piece, but like I said, my Longbow and my Synthesis and I definitely think that he's going to bring some Gauntlets this week. So what gauntlets do I think he's going to sell? Now the last time he sold gauntlets, he sold the impossible machines, which are pretty damn good if you're a Stormcaller. Now before that, he sold the Sunbreakers, which are, oh, I don't even want to get started with those because he sold those at least 40 times in year one. So this time around, what, what do I think he's going to sell for the gauntlets? Well, I think he's going to sell the Nothing Manacles. It's been a very, very, very long time since he sold those. And those are gauntlets actually for the Voidwalker subclass, which can be quite OP. It does grant you an additional scatter grenade, and I really hate those damn things. They definitely get on my nerves and are definitely something to be reckoned with in Trials of Osiris. So if he sells those this week and you like Voidwalker, I would definitely at least try those out because they can definitely change up the game a little bit. Now before we get into Hunters, guys, I want to give you guys my Trials of Osiris prediction. So last week I predicted it would be Burning Shrine. Now it was unfortunately not Burning Shrine, but this time around I think it's going to be Bannerfall. It's been a really long time since it's been Bannerfall, and like I said, it could easily be any map, but Bannerfall has been left out of Trials rotation for over 10 weeks now. Now, this is one of my favorite maps for Trials of Osiris, it's next to Bannerfall at least, and honestly, if this map comes around, I do suggest that you guys run Scout Rifles and Sniper Rifles. Just keep in mind, this is not really a shotgunning map, and you will probably have an easier time playing with a Scout Rifle or some sort of Sniper Rifle. Now, with all that aside, guys, let's get on into the Hunter's Predictions. So last week he sold the Gravitons 4 fight for the Hunters. Now I seem to just be like a week behind with my predictions on the Hunters. The week before that, I did predict he was going to sell the Gravitons 4 fight. And then the re week right before that, I predicted that he was going to sell Bones of the EAO. But I am just seem to be one week behind. So he did sell a Helmet last week, Legs the two weeks before that, and then Gauntlets on that third week prior. So if it really is Bannerfall this week, I could see him selling Bones of the EAO again. Because Triple Jump is actually pretty good on that map and it's almost necessary. Now let's just say it's not Bannerfall, and let's give you guys an actual prediction, just based off the other gear that he sold as well. So, he, like I said, he sold the helmet last week and legs the two weeks prior to that. Now, with that being said, I could see him very easily bringing a helmet again, because he has not brought helmets 
in quite some time. Now, it's pretty rare for Zer to bring more than one helmet in a row for the Hunters. There was that one week where he sold five helmets in a row. So it is definitely possible for him to sell them, but it's just very, very rare. So we're going to take a pretty big risk here, and I'm going to give you guys my prediction. Now, I definitely think it's going to be another helmet. Now, he hasn't sold the Knucklehead Radar in a very, very long time, as well as the Mask of the Third Man. Now, there's also that Skyburner's Annex, which has literally only been sold one time, which is why I definitely don't think he's going to be bringing that back anytime soon. So, my prediction this week is got to be for the Aquilophage Symbiote. This helmet is really, really good if you're a Golden Gun, and will actually grant you an additional bullet. So, if you're running this helmet on your Golden Gun, and you go up against somebody, and you just shoot your three bullets out, a lot of the time they will just think that your Golden Gun is out, because they are just so used to have everyone having three bullets, which is why I do like to sh shake things up a little bit and run this Aquilophage Symbiote. This was my go-to helmet in year one. When I was, back when I was only a hunter, I didn't even have a Warlock or a Titan. And all I ever did was just play on a hunter. This was the only helmet that I would run. Now, I must say that was back before year two, before Shade Step existed, and before you actually needed that Graviton Spore Fright. So, like I said, the Knucklehead Radar and the Aquilophage Symbiote are some pretty great helmets. Now, if he sells Aquilophage Symbiote, I would definitely pick it up, like I said. It can really throw people off sometimes in the Trials of the Cyrus that aren't used to it. And that Golden Gun with additional bullet can definitely come in handy. Now, finally, we've got the weapon prediction. So let's just pr say that it really is going to be Bannerfall this week. And if it is, and then I would suggest that Zer would be selling some sort of a scout rifle or at least some sort of a long range weapon. So, with that being said, last week he did sell Zalo Supercell, which was a really good weapon for the map that we were playing on. If you guys didn't pick it up, you definitely should have because it's a really, really good auto rifle. So, if it really is Bannerfall, that really only leaves us with a few weapons that I would suggest him to sell. He would only really sell like a Scout Rifle, which would leave us with Minor Multi-Tool, which he just sold only five weeks ago, so I don't really think he's going to bring that. Now, he could also sell a, a Sniper like Patience in Time, which is brought seven weeks ago, or he could even bring Hereafter, which is not been brought since the first time it was brought about 20 weeks ago. So, this is definitely going to be a really hard prediction to make, and like I said, my Longbow Synthesis is on the line. So, I want to try to get this as accurate as possible, but I don't really know at all what weapon he's going to be selling so if i had to give you guys any prediction i would have to just choose some sort of really weird weapon that he never really sells like the invective or maybe even the truth you know he could bring truth it's been a very very long time since he brought even a heavy weapon at all because all he ever sells is dragon's breath so i could definitely see him bringing the truth this week so let me know what you guys think he's going to sell down in the comments below like i said remember if these predictions aren't right my longbow synthesis is gone so definitely stay tuned for that next week and be sure to check back on Friday to make sure I got these predictions right. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.